So we're just um, looking at the kickstand st electrics. The switch, I'll just hold it down, is under this plate here. Okay, so it's up there. Just in behind there is the switch. It's on this rotating unit. The electrics come up in behind here. There's a cable tie there holding it on. And here is the electrics. And I'm gonna actually break it, cut it about here, rather than right down on the switch. The reason being is then there's, if I wanna put a new switch on, I don't need to go into the whole loom. I can just splice it on here with connectors. Um, but also if I take it off down here, then everything that I've worked on is also now, ex potentially I know it will be like wrapped, um, but it will be down in with the crud area. And um, if we can try and keep as much electrics out of the, the rain and the, the mud and crud, um, that would be ideal. So up here, I feel is my best possible area to take this. So what I've got for this job, some scissors, knife, wire strippers, because I'm going to have to strip some of the wire to uh, connect them together. And this is Gorilla Tape, and it's really heavy duty stuff. So I'm going to put a cut through here strip back the wires, join the wires that I need to for the bypass. So basically it's tricking it into thinking that the side stand is up all the time. And um, then there should be no engine cutouts. Just a word of warning. It does mean that I will be able to ride off with the side stand down. So it is potentially cutting out the safety feature that's on this bike. Um, I'm kind of aware enough to check whether my side stand is up or down, but if you are thinking about doing this yourself, then do think about whether it's the right action for you or whether you're just gonna buy a new switch. So let's go ahead with this. about here So I've just, I haven't actually cut through the wires yet, you see, I just cut this back, just try and keep this cover intact as possible because um, I'm going to re-wrap all around it and it's just going to help preserve um, the wires and also kind of the look of the bike as well. So there's three wires in here, there's a tan one. There's a red one, there's a white one. I don't think I'll blow the electrics up, so maybe let's just try all of them and see what the best result is. Oh, these are minuscule wires as well. Minuscule. Even on the smallest one, I might have to just put a tiny little nick into it and just see. Oh no, that's, that's gone. Right, so I'll just twist that one around to stop it from fraying. And then 
Okay, for the brown one. And again, twist it just to stop it from fraying. So we have that. And again here. Okay with the red one as well. All the wires are exposed now and I will try white and red first. Okay, so there's a good good connection there. I've wrapped them around each other quite well. Okay, so I've just done that twice and it appears that white and red is indicating that the side stand is down. So now I'm going to tan and white. Okay, so that's tan and white joined together now. That's clearly white and tan, the red means nothing. Just put that up out of the way. I'm going to make a good join of this now, um, get some pliers and really work it in together and then give it a good wrapping up. So 
that's very well wrapped and this red one here I'm just gonna cover separately so there's no cross circuiting we've got red for the red wire black for the other two. So with this, I've kind of made a, a tunnel connection over the two and I've used the insulation tape just to seal both ends to stop water from getting down in there. Um, ideally some heat shrink would be a good idea. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to ride it on like this for a bit. Um, just to make sure that I have got the wiring right and there's no niggles or anything um, because then it would be nice to nice and easy just to get back in there and sort things out um, and then in due course I'll put some heat wrap on there. What I'm going to do now is just get a couple of cable ties so I'm going to cable tie this end here and I'm going to cable tie this end here and then that will be enough just to hold it in place um, and stop it from getting caught and flapping around because obviously even though I've kind of joined it with tape there's nothing really properly joining it together anymore 